Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and we're here today at the Fat Quarter Shop studio here welcoming Angela Yeston. Welcome, Angela. Thank you. And we're so excited. She's brought all of her notions from her house to display to show us what her favorite notions are. So we're going to first talk about just general quilting notions. So let's talk about what brand ruler you use. I like to use the Omni Grip rulers by Omni Grid. Um, I just I like the neon colors with the black. It's easy mm -hmm. to see on fabric. So I use the um, eight and a half by twenty four mostly, okay. and I also use the ten and a half inch square. Okay. So for most of my projects, are those two. Okay. And these are great because they actually have a little um, grip on the back that's built into the ruler. So that's also helpful for people, you know, when you're when you're cutting. And so Angela, she also uses RFL as her thread of choice when she quilts and sews. So Angela, tell me about your thread collection with RFL. Okay, all of threads in the collections, they're, they're the same in both collections, same colors. Mm -hmm. um, they all match the fabric collection. So you've got the basics of, you know, your white, your black, the charcoal, and then the browns to match the hairs in the body. Um, and then all the colors to match the coordinating fabrics. Um, there's two different sizes. One is the 12 weight, and that's more for your hand stitching mm -hmm. embroidery. Um, it's a thicker thread, and then it's kind of like a floss, but you don't have to take it apart, so it's already ready to be used. Um, and then there's the 50 weight that you can use in the machine. So, um, and also for binding or anything that you want to do um, machine-wise. And you also use RFL just when you're not sewing with flats. That's the everyday thread yes. choice. Yes. Yeah, and use. that's great with those fab or with those thread collections because they're so basic colors. I use them actually with everything that I do because there is the white, the charcoal, the tans. So it's very versatile. Okay. So tell me what brand rotary cutter you use. Um, I like to use the Ulfa, the ergonomic. Um, rotary. rotary cutter, yeah. Um, it just it's easy for me, and I love the, the thing about it the most is this little safety button. Mm -hmm. um, I've kind of got into a habit where when I cut, as soon as I get done, I just push that button and then lay it down because with three little kids running around, I don't want them to grab it and cut themselves. Yeah. Um, and then whenever I go to cut again, I just push it with my thumb and go for it. It's just I've kind of gotten into this little habit of doing that, locking it. Yeah. <laughs> and then your scissors. Tell me about the the scissors that you use when you sew and quilt. Okay, Fiskars. Um, these are the my favorite scissors. Are these um, spring action scissors? There's the long scissors. Um, I believe they're like an eight inch scissor. Um, again, the locking mechanism in it. I just with three kids again it, it's something it's very important to me that has to be closed and so again I'm I've got my little finger action going with as soon as I use it I push that button and I lay it down and then when I'm ready again I just pull it back and it's just very convenient to have that right there and again with the snips and I found these in your binding bag <laughs> <laughs> For when you do binding, just a small yep. scissors. Yep, they have a little bent curve. Um, curve in the, the tip of it, and I like it because if you need to cut little threads next to the quilt or even at the binding, you're not going to cut into the quilt. So right. these are very handy. Um, I believe they're Westcott, just like embroidery type scissor. So. Mm -hmm. And since we were talking about binding, let's talk about the different items you use when you bind your quilt. Okay, the, um, when I bind, I like to use just any kind of needles, binding needles that are small with the eye that I can see easily to mm -hmm. put the thread through. Um, and the different sizes are just however, you know, what type of quilting you're just going to do or the binding. I just kind of pick one. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> um, and then Clover Wonder Clips. Um, I was introduced to these and I love them because they work with just about anything that you need to hold shut for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, they work great on the Flats House project sheet because um, you have to bind that and it's so much easier sure. just to mm -hmm, clip it down so you're not having to mess with it every time you're going to stitch those on. So those are really great. 
And then SoLine is a great product that's distributed solely through United Notions. Can you tell me more about the different SoLines that are your favorite? Yes, the SoLine, I, this is kind of my go-to box if I need any kind of tool, marking tool or even just a glue stick or eraser. Um, they've got several products that are really great out on the market. Um, my first one that I go to, the, I pretty much use with anything, I use it on paper. Um, tracing paper, anything, and then also fabrics. It's a ceramic lead that marks really nice on fabrics. Um, this particular one is a trio, and so you have the a BL for black thread, or I'm sorry, black, black lead, lead. <laughs> white lead, and then uh, pink. pink. So you can decide on which uh, lead is going to look, you can see on that fabric. They also have one that has a stylus instead of the pink, which is great too. So if you have a um, machine that you need a stylus for, mm -hmm. then you can still use the same pen and just turn it to what which one you need it to. So it's easy to load and it has little refills that you can refill the lead easily with. And SoLine has lots of colors. They have mm -hmm. blue, green, yeah, they have yellow. More than just, yeah, uh -huh. yep. I kind of stick with the Neapolitan look. Just it works Cute. for everything. Yeah, um, and it's nice because they have an assortment pack that has the black, white, and pink all in one pack, so you don't have to buy three separate packs. Uh, the other thing is, it's actually a brand new mar uh, marker that's on the market. It's a so line stayer, it's a fabric permanent pin. So like on the back of the flats where you want to write the name of mm -hmm. the doll, mm -hmm. you can use a the stayer pin and it will stay on there. It's great for signature quilts and different things like that too because it's, it's just a nice pin that writes smooth and uh, stays on. The other thing is if I need a marking pencil but I don't want to erase it or wash it. I need something just a quick, just to see if that's where I want to mark, you know, have a line. Um, just to test it out, I use the Invisible Purple Pen by SoLine. And so this is anything I'm creating um, that I don't know if that's where I want the permanent line to be or even just a temporary line to quilt yeah. on or so, you know, whatever it is that I'm trying to do, I'll do this one first just to make sure that's the correct spacing I want for something. And then if that's the, you know, where I need it, then if the line is still there, I'll just use that line. Otherwise, I'll go back with my, my pencil. The other thing is this eraser. It's a um, nice because you can pump it up and then pump it back down. It's just kind of a, it's the um, eraser for either pencil. Yeah, and I can say that that's actually our best-selling sew line product. The, the eraser. eraser. Mm -hmm. It's nice because the one that comes on the end of your pencil, eventually it starts wearing down, and you don't want to have to buy a new pencil. Yeah. So you can either buy a replacement one here, or I just I don't even take that off because it's kind of tedious to yeah. have to screw that back on, and then you lose the cap. And it's nice though if you want to go somewhere, just you know, take it to go and not have to take multiple pins. Mm -hmm. But this one is really great because if you have a lot of erasing yeah. to do, you're unlimited with your eraser. So, And again, that one has a refill as well. And then the other thing is this glue stick. I, it, if I am needing to do an applique and I don't want to mess with fusible web, it's just, just a small thing, then I'll put this on the back of that piece and it sticks and then you can sew it on and it will wash away. So it's great for just a small like basting thing that you need temporary mm -hmm. just to sew it down and then it'll wash away. So that that's a great one too. Okay, and then I noticed that you use the Grabbit, which I think yes. everyone I know uses, <laughs> so that's a good one. And this, tell me about the Best Press that you use. The Best Press is great because it comes in different scents, and they also have one that's unscented. But I actually stopped putting water in my iron because it kept leaving little rust spots after a while. You use it, and depending on the water that you're using, if there's a lot of minerals in it, it'll start ruining your iron. 
So I was kind of tired of that leaving marks on my projects. And so I bought a brand new iron and never put any water in it. Yeah. And I just spray the best press where I need to press it, mm -hmm. iron it down, and it leaves a nice scent afterward too. So you don't get that kind of iron smell yeah. on your fabrics. Yeah. You get a nice, nice scent. And tell me about these products. These are great. These actually, my uncle designed these and he makes them and sells them to distributors and to retailers. Um, they are the Classic Crystal Press and Point Turner by Lee. Um, the Point Turner is a is great for like pillows or anything you need to poke hold like mm -hmm. poke into the corners. Yeah. It's got a nice blunt edge, but it's mm -hmm. still pointy enough to where you don't poke Pretty through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people use scissors, and oh my gosh, if you yeah. use that, it might pop a hole in your yeah. project and then you have to start all over again. It's not a good idea. So this is, it's just nice because they're clear, they're lightweight. Um, I love them. They, you know, they don't break. It's, they're very mm -hmm. sturdy acrylic. And would you, what, like you would use this one for a pillow? pillow or anything you need to just even down a seam if you're working on a bag and down the seam I just run it down the seam even so I don't have to mess with pressing it sometimes if I just want that edge to come out right. yeah and then the press is great to have right next to your machine yeah. so if you're yeah if you're sewing and you know you need just need to press it really quick you just press it and then move on. move on. You don't have to get up, go to the iron, yeah. and come back. So that's a great one as well. And then tell me how you use your Baker Swine that's made by Moda Home. These are just a lot of fun. I love the colors, and you can wrap things with them. You can tie packaging, uh, back quarter bundles, whatever. You know, if you want to do a little gift, I also like using them for embellishments. So if you wanted to give your little flats a drawstring look mm -hmm. on your pants, you can just do a zigzag stitch. stitch over the twine and have it look like it's got a drawstring on it. So it's a lot of fun and just you can use have all kinds of ideas to play with that. And then since you do a lot of sewing, um, tell me all the different, because I think all the different types of sewing products you use for, you know, how to used items. You know, you use a lot of different products that do different effects. So tell me about that. Yeah. Those. Yeah. I, the fusible fleece, I use this, I buy this stuff by bolt, just this and the fusible web. That stuff I have to buy by bolt because I go through so much of it. Um, the fusible fleece is great for bags or anything you want that batting feel to, like a quilt. Mm -hmm but need it to stick while you're working on that project because not all projects are going to be quilted mm -hmm. so you need that um just the the staying yeah. um part of it to stay onto your fabric while you're working on it and i like to double it up sometimes so that you have this a little bit thicker um and project which, what so. brand is this that you're using this is pelon i actually really like all of the pelon products they have the the Wonder Under is their fusible web, and they recently came out with a heavy duty not too long ago. And with, when you're doing a, like jelly roll strip applique, I found that the heavy duty works better than just the regular Wonder Under, just because you're going over seams mm -hmm. when you're putting fusible web on it. And so it just it's it sticks, it sticks better, and it's much easier to pull the paper off of it after you iron it onto those seams because the the plain one just sometimes wants to come with it. Yeah. <laughs> so the heavy duty is the one I go to for any kind of fusible web. Um, and it's, again, Pellon Wonder under just the heavy duty one. And this is the Pellon Fusible Fleece. And it's just one-sided, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fusible. Um, and then I also like the By Annie's Soft and Stable. This comes in white and black. Um, I have used this in so many projects just because it gives the effect of batting and it's really soft and you know flexible, but it still keeps it's very thick. The yeah, whereas your fusible fleece doesn't have the stability like the by Annie's. So 
anything I need stability with, like my flat stalls, if I want their heads to stay up, yeah. I'll use the um, uh, by Annie's and then the fusible fleece for the clothing and the hair. And then C&T makes several products, but there are three that I kind of go to um, most of the time for most of my projects is the Inchi Ruler Tape. Um, this is a really great product that I just started using and it's a, just an adhesive strip that's marked, has the you know quarter inch markers across it and it's also one inch wide so when you put it down on your quilt or project you can sew to the line that you need to and then take that off and reposition it somewhere else on the quilt where you need to continue stitching. It just is a helpful guide that you don't have to mark you don't have to get your masking tape out and it get all sticky all over the place. And this is just really nice because it already has the guides marked on there for you. The other thing is the Shape Flex Craft Pack um, by CNT. This is a great interfacing. It's a fusible interfacing. Again, if you're making a bag, a dress, um, anything that just needs a light weight stiffener, um, I put this actually on the back side of shirts. So if I put an applique on a shirt, I'll put this on the inside of the shirt just to give it some stability so when you're sewing it, it doesn't stretch. So that's a really good one is the Shape Flex. And is it double-sided or single-sided? It is single-sided. Okay. So the fusible is only on one side and then you have a nice soft interfacing fabric that's on the outside that touches the body if you're putting it on a shirt. It just, you don't feel it. It just feels like it's part of the shirt. And then they have this tracing paper that I use um, after I sketch out my um, design. Yeah, like for the flats, I sketched my design out on sketch paper. But sketch paper tends to sometimes have a grainy effect to it. So if I want a nice crisp line after I sketch it, I'll trace it with the tracing paper from CNT. It's got a nice coating on it, so the pencil glides really nice. Has a nice straight line um, where you don't have that grainy edge. And I just trace everything on there and then scan it into my computer. So with the transparent, the white from your scanner just makes it look like it's paper. But okay. And then you had a great notion that you talked about that you used to make your daughter's dress. Yes, a bodkin. <laughs> I wish I had it here with me today, but it's um, it's just a little, it's a, instead of using a safety pin, you can slide it through, you pinch one side with elastic or um, some kind of thing to put through casing, or even if you're just flipping a tube inside, out, right side out from mm -hmm. being inside out, um, you just pinch one side and then pull it pull through, it. and it doesn't pop open on you and poke you like a safety pin would. It's just nice and small and it's if I'm making clothing or any kind of tube product, it's, like it's my go-to. Yes, have to have those bodkins. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Everyone can visit Angela at AngelaYosin.com and you can visit us online at FatQuarterShop.com. Thank you. Thank you.